632 breaking news out of Iowa from last night's caucus after a very close race. NBC News declared Hillary Clinton the apparent winner in last night's race among Democrats. And on the Republican side, Ted Cruz topped Donald Trump. Let's get right to Tony Side's Rico Bush, who's live in the newsroom with the details. Rico? Well, Don Katie, Hillary Clinton has squeaked out a very small victory against Senator Bernie Sanders, Sanders based off final numbers from the Iowa Democratic Party. Now, overnight, the results of the caucuses were so close, both candidates were locked in a dead heat. The party described the race between the Democratic frontrunner and Sanders as the closest they have ever had in the state. And several of those races were so close, they were decided by coin tosses. Now, this is where the numbers stand right now a razor thin win for the former secretary of state against Sanders though both of them might get uh, an equal spit of delicates now let's crunch some more numbers for you to give you an idea of why that race was so close according to interest polls on the Democratic side voters who wanted experience and wanted the next president to, to continue Obama policies largely went for Clinton Clinton also did especially well with people over 65, married women, and moderates. Now, looking at Sanders, younger voters and people who valued honesty and trustworthiness most in a candidate went overwhelmingly for him. He also picked up a lot of support from first-time caucus goers and those who identify as very liberal. We came to this beautiful state. We had no political organization. We had no money, we had no name recognition, and we were taking on the most powerful political organization in the United States of America. I will keep doing what I have done my entire life. I will keep standing up for you. I will keep fighting for you. I will always work to achieve the America that I believe in. Now, shortly after the results came in from the caucus, Democrat Martin O'Malley pulled out of the race after getting less than 1% of the vote. The former Maryland governor told supporters the party must hold strong behind the eventual nominee. Now, in our next half hour, we'll dig deeper into the caucuses on the Republican side, where Senator Ted Cruz pulled off a victory, and Senator Marco Rubio did better than most expected. The surprising results, that are coming up at uh, 7 o'clock on Fox 43. But for now, I'm live in the newsroom, Rico Bush. Katie, back to you.